bring us back, Lord, to you, and we shall come. Renew our days as of old. They apologize, so it's okay. And I needed an iced coffee, and I didn't have any ice this morning, so it is what it is. We went to, where did we go? We went to the library, and I had to mail um, some lotion, a package of lotion. If you guys didn't know, because I realized I don't really bring it up here, I make here, um, lotion, body butter, um, that sort of thing. I also make sprays, if you guys can see that. I also make sprays and bug sprays, all that sort of thing, all things natural um, and vegan. So if you guys want to order, I do have the link below in every video. That's my Grace and Genevieve natural body product shop on Etsy. But I just wanted to sit down um, and show you guys what I'm using, what I used to learn Arabic and Hebrew. I feel like I've shown this before, but people... Um, not a lot of you ask, but I have seen a few people maybe who are newer and haven't watched like old videos watch. So it's no big deal. I can just repeat myself. Um, I use living language, living language. This is found on, um, Amazon. You can, I think, I think they sell them in stores like Barnes and Noble or Books a Million. I have seen them for sure in Books a Million. So, um, if you live near one, go go check it out. I do not live near a Books A Million. Well, near. That's subjective. I'm about 30 minutes away from a Books A Million. So I just ordered it on Amazon. Um, it comes with the Beginners, which is called an Essential book. The Intermediate book here. And then the Advanced book. And then it comes with an audio package so it would correspond to the book so in, um, essential which is the beginners intermediate and advanced and my husband he actually really likes using the CDs I don't I mean not that they're bad or anything I just I'm more of a 
read and write kind of person and then I just listen to native speakers speak it which I'm sure that's what the the audio does but I'm just I don't know not big at it anyway that's what I use um that's what I use to learn to read and write Arabic um I found that that was quite challenging just because I mean if you don't know anything about Arabic Arabic um is a Semitic language it is a Semitic tongue it um, is closely related to Aramaic and Hebrew, as well as even, you know, some Phoenician script and things. But the thing with Arabic and why I think Arabic is just such a beautiful language is because the letters are connected together. Um, I want to say Sanskrit might be that way and Tagalog maybe may be that way. I'm not sure. But <laughs> my Filipino friends are going to be like, girl. But anyway, um, Hebrew, the letters do not connect. So I found that much easier to learn to read and write and learn the alphabet. Um, doing it that way as opposed to um, having to learn how every letter changes in the beginning, middle, and end. I'm a mom. I have kids. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, go ahead. It's I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks, like way cheaper than Rosetta Stone, which I'm sure is like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So, yeah, hopefully um, those of you who want to learn Hebrew um, past just like a biblical Hebrew, but learn like a modern Hebrew, um, it's a really good thing for you. And hopefully you'll find that helpful. I have to go. Clearly. Do you hear that? That's my three year old. She's almost four. Mommy! Mommy! It's Thursday morning. Decided I'm going to bring the girls out to the beach. This one here is Dragon. Come on, let's go! So, yeah, we are at the beach. I'm so tired guys. I'm like super exhausted, but it's just more exhausting to like stay in the house and listen to them whine than, you know, it is just come to like a beautiful beach where they can be distracted with, you know, God's creation. <sighs> but pray for me all because I'm tired. This solo, semi-solo parenting thing is like not fun. Kissing on when we be reminiscing with each other for the next 40 years. Are we written in the stars? Are we written in the sand? Are we written in the stars?